What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my. <laughs> 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 Alright. You need to keep it together. Okay, I'm time. sorry. Alright, so I'm here with my friends, Abby and Kate over here. Kate's really angry at Mr. Smith right now because he's given us homework that we didn't get a lesson on. We, we so essentially he's not doing his job. Is so that what you're saying? Teaching ourselves. Yeah. That's Kate, not me, because Mr. Smith, I love you. But so don't lower my grade. But we're just gonna interview Abby Massey real quick about her physics class. Do I take it or you hold it? Yeah, you just hold it. Okay, okay, okay. But don't hold yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Are you gonna ask me questions or no? Alright, so okay. what does it feel like to be a physics genius? <laughs> um, actually kind of horrible. Really? I regret every decision I've ever made to do this. Alright. I what is you're a valedictorian, right? I am. That's that's fact. So she is a hard worker, right? You're a hard yeah, worker. Yeah, for sure. She's <laughs> really smart, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right, Kate? Mm-hmm. So what does it take to be the smartest person in the class of 2022 for CCS? Okay. I would say hard work, okay. a lot of crying, long crying. nights, crying, Bad. studying, um, genuinely ha just having talent, you know? Oh, facts, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. I regret it, though, so. Being valedictorian. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. It was too much work. That's spicy. Yeah. Channel. Um, so, if you were to give one piece of advice okay. to an eighth grader okay. about to enter high school, what would that one piece okay. of advice be? It can be practical, you know, like simple, okay. or it can be like profound and like philosophical. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would say, don't worry about grades. Well, you should try. <laughs> okay. You should try enough to get into the college you want to go to, but don't stress over it at all because it's not worth it either. True. Wise words from Abby Massey. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Andrew Garfield from his. Oh, I'm in love with him. Robert He's. Pattinson or Andrew Garfield? Okay, Andrew Garfield, definitely. I am completely in love with Andrew Garfield. Um, Andrew the Amazing Spider Man. Mm hmm. Solid movie. I showed it to her for the first time. Oh no. Oh no. I showed The Amazing Spider Man for the first time to Abby Massey, and I mean, it's. It's incredible. Kate Cooper. Yes. Also a really s genius of our class, right? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh huh. If you were to give one piece of advice <laughs> to an eighth grader about to go into their first year of high school, what would it be? Hold this right okay, that sounds case. great. Um, I think um, getting your work in on time is important, but not stressing about like spending hours every single night doing homework is really important. Nice. That's so nice. you know, and if you had one you thing have fun. to say to Mr. Smith right now, <laughs> because he um, is giving you homework that you don't know how to do because you didn't teach it, what would that? I think One sense be. I think maybe um, like teach us before you give us homework on a lesson that oh. we don't understand. Shots fired. <laughs> one bang. Also, what does it feel like to be the winning volleyball head coach for Buff Puff oh. this year? <laughs> it feels so good. It was it was really close there for a minute. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I was kind of dead weight on that team. <laughs> I was like really letting everybody down. In, and the reason is is because I like had no practice time. I was yeah, like at tennis all day from like 7:45 to 5:30, and I didn't get to practice with my coach. That's Kate true. Cooper. That's very true. We were we almost lost to the juniors, but mm -hmm. it's okay. We pulled it out. It was good. Robert, you want to be interviewed? Oh, this is a video. Yeah, yeah we're vlogging. Robert uh, Downs. Uh, all right, Robert Hello Downs. This is um, <laughs> theater extraordinaire Robert Downs. He was in um, Crazy for You. Am I speaking into this? Yeah, you can just hold it. Oh, this is a mic. Yeah. That was your bud. Yeah, so what's if you were to give one piece of advice to a theater kid that's an eighth grader about to go into high school, what would it be? Mm -hmm. Acting advice, dancing advice? You know, I know you're an extremely talented tap dancer. Oh, so. Thanks. Um, I'd probably just say... Um, 
always try to be as big as possible like with your choices and with your actions dancing and acting and I mean singing not as much but just always try to make like a bold choice like if you're doing too much Miss Simple will tell you he always tells us to do bigger expressions more like more bold moves just make your like make yourself stand out even amongst all the other really good theater kids and you're bound to get some good roles Thanks. yeah thank you for your time sir yeah. good luck with your endeavors where are you going to school uh you too sir let's go mock up baby yes yeah, sir that's where i'm going <laughs> all right guys i'm here with my friend my great friend itsy cordoba she is a senior and she has been here at ccs for how long since sixth grade let's go not quite as good as me because i'm a lifer but anyway what's one piece of advice you would give to an eighth grader about to enter high school one piece of advice do your homework on time don't procrastinate that's the worst thing what's one mistake that you made in your career that you don't want to see anyone else make procrastinate cool let's get Sophie in on this this is my friend Sophie Howard she is also a senior at CCS, and what is, what do you do? Like, what's your thing? Don't you do, like, makeup or something for no. the theater? No, I do not. I do tech for the theater. Oh, she does tech for the theater. Okay. So what's one thing you would recommend to someone who's getting into the tech world in terms of theaters? Um. What are you laughing about, Aaron? What are you laughing about? All right. If someone was about to join the tech crew for CCS Theater, what's one lesson or piece of advice that you have for them? Uh, you don't, oh gosh, the mic. I guess you don't need to know everything because I know nothing going into it, but you know, it'll be great. Have it's going to be fun. Mindset. I like it. Yeah, growth mindset. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's okay. interview uh, Aaron Holder real quick. Why are you sitting so low? Because, um, I don't know. And okay. You're going to, you're going to MTSU, MTSU. Year, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, so you're going to be partying quite a bit, right? Uh, <laughs> that's that's yeah. off the record. Off the record. So that's a yes. So what's, what's your best party move? My best party move? Yeah, like dance like, moves. Dance? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm going to a What's private the, Christian school. I, I don't know. <laughs> What's the thing that you're good at? <laughs> What's the thing that you're good at? Pottery. Um, yeah, huh? So, so when you hit all the clubs up in Murfreesboro, because there's so many up there, you're gonna be breaking out the pottery. Is that what I'm hearing? Definitely. Cool. Jesus. I'm here with Brooks Montague. You might recognize him from the, yeah, Montague from the, you might recognize him from the Wimp in the Woods part two. Look at the, look at this man. Look at, look at the, look at the flow. Yeah, Wimp in the Woods part three coming soon. But anyway, what's one piece of advice? I know you're quite the thesp. What's one piece of advice you'd give? to an eighth grader about to enter high school, entering CCS Theater? Um, entering CCS Theater? Yes. Definitely one tip that helped me is if you get any part, like any main part or bigger part, um, that I did not know about that I found out myself was watch other people do it. Like find versions of the show that you're doing and see how other people do it. Watch multiple shows see how they're gonna do their part yeah. also just do whatever fits you have your own unique twist on everything you can do but also that that reflects well with others that works well with your team as well as just with yourself so wise words yes i, I know it's just, yes and so and um you know that the lord is always with you he loves you and he's got your back Yes, sir. Got to do the little. Always. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Itsy, would you like to express to the fans your utter love and admiration of the great man Harry Styles? Call him the great man. That's 
this program. You called him a great man? Matthew. What? I don't really know the songs. What are you talking about? We're not going to bring that up again. Stockholm Syndrome? I literally know One Direction better than she does. Okay. I was singing Fireproof and it's beautiful. I love when he talks, he doesn't ever put the mic up to us. <laughs> yeah. He, no one heard what you just well, said. His voice is deep enough that I can Anyways. Um, I like Harry Styles, yes. But I like to keep my... My, um... Love life private. Love life private. <laughs> I like to keep that... Well, we like to keep things public on the channel. So That's why channel. I refuse... No, I... I choose to say no comment, but if you need anything else. <laughs> oh, we gotta check this out. <laughs> Hold on. See, I told you she loves Harry Styles. All right, so it's come to my attention that I really suck at using this microphone, and every time I try to talk on it, I always point it at the other person, and when they talk, I point it at myself. So that's what we're gonna fix in this situation. So, Aaron Holder, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> All right, we're going to try this again. Aaron Holder, what do you think of the book, Their Eyes Were Watching God? Um, I actually really like it. It's the first book, I think, in my CCS career that I've read. Um, <laughs> everything. Whoa. Whoa. That's great mm, I hope no English teachers watch this. What's up, guys? I got Maddie Hester, and I got Sophie Flynn with me. I went to prom with her last year, oh, by the way. We're not even in the cut. Oh, there we go. And so, I just oh, wait, one piece of advice that you would have for an eighth grader coming into CCS next year. What's one piece of Don't advice? Don't do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Everyone's really nice. You can make a lot of friends. Cool. Um. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? We're here with Holden. He's a freshman, and I don't really like him that much, but yes, he's on the I've read all your books, bro. That's true. That's true. Whoa, whoa. It's Julie again. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. I'm in my Spanish 4 class, and we're just here. Do a pan of the audience real quick. The audience? Yeah, everybody cheer and stuff. Woo! Yeah, this is my friend, Dory. <laughs> And this is my teacher. We're recording a vlog. Oh. And I'm the camera assistant. Hola. Credit Hola. to me. Here you go. All right, thank you. That was a good vlog. Vale, que hacer? Hacer un repaso de todos los tiempos perfectos. Say it again. <laughs> We're all going to have what in 10 years? Es posible que en 10 años... <laughs> Um, la mitad de ustedes habrán, pues, voy a decir tenido, habrán tenido un hijo. Es posible. All right, I'll put subtitles on that. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. All right, I've got Hadley Levine with me, student body president of Chattanooga Christian School. What is it like to be a leader of such a large group of people? Tell me. Um, am I too close? It's really fun. I get to know a lot of people. Um, <laughs> And you really put me on the spot with this That's one. A, it's a like good place to be yeah. in leadership. It's fun to be in leadership. You get to know people and you get to lead, especially at a Christian school. Um, when we're called to lead, so that's super cool. Yeah, sounds like a uh, politically correct answer. Okay, like thank it. you. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, Might get in trouble. Cool. Can you ask me yeah. something more fun, like okay, okay. thing, like, exciting? All right. This is another serious one, but what's one piece of advice you would give to an 8th grader who's about to enter high school? Oh, I actually did a panel on this recently. Oh, did you okay, know? okay, okay, okay. Um, so I this? say get over, get over having friend groups. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah. why am I talking to Matthew Patrick? He's right. not in my friend group. Exactly. But it doesn't matter because we're such, we're such good friends. Right. Like, oh, there's Nathaniel it's so back fun. There. Yeah, and yeah. like, well, he's in our friend group now. He's, he's new spawn. Um, <laughs> but just... Just reach out. Just find new friends. Okay. And you don't have to be in a friend group because that's no fun. Well done. Yeah. All right, Savannah, how'd your match go? It was good. We won 8-0. What was the deciding factor that put you all above your opponents? I think we just were more consistent than our opponents. So. That's facts. They're not consistent. Yep. Yep. Hard work and dedication. Yep. Four years of it. Am yep. I right, so I'm here with one of my great friends, Hayden Wynn. And first, let's check out the fit. Come on, Hayden. Turn around. Let's see that booty. Just kidding. Sneakers, man. This is, this is, guys, stylish. Check out the shorts. Are those chubbies? Yeah, they are. Let's go. And he's got that Chipotle shirt. 
This is my favorite restaurant. Oh Hold on. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. Also, the chain is looking good. And look at that fro. This is a white guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now for the questions. So you've been out here for a few minutes. What are your thoughts on the CCS tennis program so far? Um, so far we're looking pretty good, you know. Yeah, I, think I just want eight good. love. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I don't remember what that means, but that sounds good. Eight zero. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So okay. Tell them about all your exploits with motorsports. Like dirt bikes? Yeah, tell them all the stuff you do. And just extreme sports in general. Guys, Why I'm the guest here on the Matthew Patrick Show yet people. again. Should I tell them why, why her nickname is Butt? Yeah, tell them why her nickname is Because she butt. drops her phone all the time and it's short for Butterfingers. So it's cool. easier. Okay, you're, what, what was the question? So talk about all the sports you do, you know, like the extreme sports, motorsports, that sort of thing. Uh, mountain biking, whitewater kayaking, uh, dirt bikes, jet skis. jet skis, and skiing, this, and some snowboarding. This man is <laughs> freaking gnarly. <laughs> Am I right, Hayden? Yep. You cool. got me. Cool. So I've got Nathaniel Peace with me, oh, the man. best soccer player at Chattanooga Christian Debatable. School. Debatable. And let's uh, let's uh, let me ask you one question. What does it feel like to go to prom with the number one CCS girls player? You know, I didn't expect it at first. It was kind of like a out of the park question that came up, but I was like, I'm down, you know, yeah. I'm pr pretty excited. It's uh -huh. going to be a lot of fun, so. Uh -huh. And this man's a baller, so of course she said yes. Let's see how it goes. Try to make it fun for her too. Let's go. What's up guys? I'm here with John Henry. We just played a match. He's from Notre Dame. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. I'm a freshman. All right, you're in ninth grade? All right, cool. So, what's your favorite part about going to Notre Dame High School? I just like the people there. It's one of the Let's go. Same thing with CCS. All right. Well, what do you what's your after call or after high school plans? Do you have any? I don't know. I'm thinking of becoming maybe a doctor or I don't know something I enjoy. Yes, sir. You enjoy being a doctor? I think I would. You, d you do it all the time. No, I'm just kidding. Take <laughs> like your hobby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, good match, sir. Uh, shout out to Notre Dame High School. All right. All right. I'm here with Stephen Reynolds. And what? How did your match go? Tell the. Uh, I won eight one. Um, I played great. What was the deciding factor? Deciding factor was. What did you have that he didn't have? Oh, uh, I I had more top spin on it, and he was hitting hard. You know. Simon, you want an interview? No, I'm okay. Uh, uh, and I just played great. I just played my best. That's all yes, I did. Sir. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Um, and I want to know about Matthew's game. I want to know how how did Matthew play? You know, I was like exhausted from the heat, man. Yeah. But I just pushed through. Yeah. Just push through, because that's what CCS tennis is all about. Yeah, yes. Hard work and determination. Yeah. Those are the virtues that I think about when I think of Stephen Reynolds. Mm. Right, so I'm here with uh, Savannah, the number one girls tennis player. We interviewed her earlier, but we're just going to interview her again because she was having some struggling, but she came through. So tell us what happened. Okay. So, that was not... A very honest player. She was kind of psychotic. But she was a little off her rocker. She she um, would call the ball out and yell at me when she thought the ball was out was in that I called out. She cheered up a few times. She what? She cheered up a few times. She boo hooed. Boo hooed. Is the better word. Um, <laughs> and how did you yeah. I just kept my head on, and I was like, you know what? I can't let her beat me. Cheaters that never is, win. That is Cheaters that's never win. Facts. That's the maturity of a senior right there. Mm -hmm. A senior <laughs> tennis player, and that's why she got rewarded with some cookie cake. That's it is. Previously. Yeah, I'm watching. Oh, this is meta. They're watching my sh channel on my channel. Yeah. They're, they're watching the Matthew Patrick show on the Matthew Patrick show. 